every ride. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Dreadus, the casual beast for the average gamer. What's going down, people? Bringing you some more mag today. Uh, massive action game. This is a semi old school shooter on the PS3. Um, some of you might recognize it from my previous videos from my channel. Some of you may not have been around. Uh, this game is still going, man. It's it's still going. Um, this is only a this is a five dollar game at any GameStop for PlayStation. It's a massive shooter online. Anyway, to get into the gameplay here, I'm running squad leader. And I set my frago, which is the fragmentary order, telling my guys what I want them to do. We want to destroy this left bunker right here. You can see the middle of the screen there. You can see the bunkers highlighted and, and red and blinking. That's to let my guys and my group know that that's what I want you to attack. We need to take down that bunker. Now, there's tons of other players on our side that they have their own objectives that their own squad leaders can assign and whatnot. But I'm telling my guys what the fuck I want them to do. And I had a good group with this one. These are all random people, but they were actually listening. Now, when I was recording this live stream, something was going on with my mic with the end game. You can't hear me um, with this. You hear me talking to you, commentating this, but I was actually talking in game. Um, telling my squad what I want them to do and it's funny because you always get one faggot ass mo Well, I shouldn't say that. I apologize. You, you, you always get one punk motherfucker who Doesn't want to be told what to do so immediately somebody voted to kick me out of squad leader now this game has always suffered from people that even back when it was real popular this game suffered from having squad leaders with no mics and people and squad leaders that don't set objectives don't tell guys what they want to attack you know, don't set the fragmentary orders, which actually gives players more points if they follow them. Um, it, it always suffered from that. But what was funny about it is you got so many haters on con. Well, I ain't gonna say on consoles because PC has it too. And you can see right down here, I didn't get kicked because the other guys in my squad were like, "What the fuck? I don't know who." You know, they were telling me, "I don't know who, who in the hell voted to kick you." But hell no, you're a great leader. Anyway. Um, it's always suffered from from not having squad leaders who don't tell um, you know the guys what they want to do vocally or whatnot. Anyway, I'm I'm very vocal with that. That comes from my military background. That's just that's just how it is. Anyway, we fucked up that bunker already, and I want to get the enemy's AA now so we can start dropping airstrikes and and really taking control of this map. You see it there blinking, and one of my guys is already up there. He's already set the charge, and we're waiting for it to blow. He's going to get extra points for it because it's a fragmentary order. And I told him, you know, what I wanted him to destroy on the map. And it's going to blow, and he's going to get extra points for it. But if you don't set it as a squad leader, if you don't set those things, they don't, you know, your your team's not going to get extra points for it. And so, like, right there, you see me, that bunker that's now blinking, I set that as the next fragmentary order. As you blow them up or as you destroy them, you, you know, you set new orders for your team. Just like in real life, dog. If you're out there in combat, if any of you ever been in combat like me, if you don't tell your group, your squad, your platoon, your company, you know what I mean? If you don't tell them what to do, they, they're they not going to just naturally know. You know what I mean? you got to give orders and instructions. And the way you do it in this game is through the map and setting fragmentary orders, fragos, or, um, and in addition to talking on your mic, telling you guys what you want. And most people respond to that. Most people love that. You're gonna get the occasional assholes who are don't fucking tell me what to do. You you know blah blah blah. I'm I've been playing this game since day one. I'm like, what? Well, I'm not really just talking to you, asshole. I'm talking to the whole group. Just because you've been playing like I have since day one, you know the beta, whatever this game years ago, don't mean everybody has been. But you just get some people who are just haters or whatever. But you know who gives a fuck. But I'm very vocal. I, I'll try to lead my guys. And right here, I'm trying to blow up their communications thing here so they can uh, locate us, their sensor array. I get it set, and uh, I shoot this motherfucker right here, and this other guy here, I don't know what the fuck happened. But anyway, one of my boys back here is going to get my back. Is actually going to kill that guy and uh, get me up. One of the big things with this game is uh, resin. Everybody can... can can insert the kit to be to res people you can revive teammates res you know revive them up resonate whatever you want to call it and that's what this guy right here just did and that got me right back in the battlefield i don't have to spawn in the back and whatnot and right here i'm looking 
on the map for a target. I mean, we're we're, we're pretty much fucking this team up, Raven. Um, we're all we're deep into their thing. And the idea again, this is acquisition, is to steal two transport vehicles and and return them out to your given base area, um, your meetup area and whatnot. And I'm, now I'm checking the other side of the map because um, there's always two sides. There's always two groups attacking. Um, one map. What they used to do with this game was they would interloop two servers into one. That's one of the ways they were able to get 256 players playing on quote unquote the same map at one time. Um, and there's always two sides. And there all there was a way to actually get to the other side, but really that was detrimental to your team because they have people assigned to that side. You don't need extra people coming from the other. And over here is their mortar, which I got I got highlighted. And I'm trying to get over here and blow it up myself, but there's just too many guys defending over here. I couldn't kill everybody. And the shotguns on this guy, you think the shotguns in Call of Duty are fucking strong. They ain't got nothing on this. These shotguns on here were fucking troll shotguns. Uh, so I couldn't pull that one off. And uh, since we got their AA down, their anti-air down, we have forward spawns, which are these choppers here. These choppers come in, you can spawn, you can jump out of these choppers. And you spawn forward of their front line because we've blown up their bunkers that were behind us. And we're pushing into their city. And you see all the, the red right there. That's the back part of their city. That's where the transport crates are. And that's what we need to steal those and get them and return them to the blue part to our bottom left down there. And right now our team's kicking so much ass. You see two blue looking vehicles at the bottom, little squares. Um, those are two transports that we've already got somewhere on the map that we're almost returned already. Um, so we're pretty much whooping their ass. And sometimes it, the, the defenders can destroy those transports, and you have to just do it again. But you eventually have to get two of them returned, and then the game ends. Or if they can hold you off as a defender for the whole time allotment, and you don't return two, then they win. The defenders win the map. They win the war, the, the battle and whatnot so right here i'm just trying to command i'm not doing a whole lot of running and shooting but that's because when you're a squad leader you need to be constantly updating you know where you want your guys to go you want to be looking at the battlefield and knowing okay this this is the next highest priority right now i got that uh mortar their mortar highlighted and uh my guys my guys set a charge on it and we just took it out now the enemy has no ability to shoot mortars and you know they can shoot sensor shells that kill vehicles they can shoot uh high explosive mortar rounds that kill infantry but right now they can't use it because we because we blew their shit up now they can repair it they, they can repair these bunkers they can repair their mortar you know if you're defending or whatever you can repair your stuff you can get it all back up but you you know you, you got to actually go there and you got to have a repair kit you know people cert it for that and um and actually do it and uh you know, so really, you know, overall, I'm, I'm looking at the battlefield. I'm right here. I'm thinking about dropping a, a strike, but other uh, squad leaders keep dropping their strikes. I can't get one in. And um, I'm looking to drop a frago here. I'm looking to set a frago, but it, these guys are, they're, they're, um, high, they're um, setting charges on shit so fast I can't even highlight. There's nothing else to really to highlight except those red vehicles, which are the enemy Jeeps that they have already uh, pulled out, enemy APCs. So, I mean, basically what it comes down to, this might sound a little confusing, but right now we're whooping their motherfucking ass. And I did, right here, you see me drop an airstrike. You can't see the strike, but I did call an airstrike in. I got two or three kills out of it, but I, I did nick one friendly, um, one night. And that's one of the abilities that squad leaders have. Um, everybody can't cause airstrikes, but squad leaders can. And then you have a um, platoon leader who, who's in charge of each platoon. There's two of them in each given game of acquisition and uh, those guys have a even more powerful strike that they can drop but I remember the defenders have it also just because you're attacking don't mean you're the only one with it and right here you see I just highlighted a mortar we destroyed that mortar before but they went and repaired it and it's back up and they can drop strikes and destroy the transports and different things so I highlighted that and told my guys we gotta get their mortar back down and uh, so hopefully my guys will get over there and make a charge. Now they just got the AA up. I didn't even see that. I was standing right over here by it and I didn't see anybody repairing. But there's always been a problem with that with Raven. And here I'm I'm uh, I'm setting a charge on the um, AA to get it blown back up because we can't have choppers forward. We can't have air superiority 
and we can't drop airstrikes while their AA's up. It'll shoot everything down automatically. So if I called in an airstrike right now while it's up, it's automatically going to get shot down. It will. It will never go off. You can never drop a strike if the if the defender's um, anti-air is up. But right here, I just blew it up. It tells you that their AA is down. Now our forward choppers are come in, which give us a forward spawn again. And it's just like a real battlefield. I mean, you want to you want to secure a forward area, you want to secure a fob, and you know you move your troops forward and you, you just keep pressure on. You keep pushing, keep pressure, and keep pushing. And that's what we do here. And that's the thing about this game, man. For five dollars, you can have a total war experience like this. And I'm telling you, more people are starting to play this again. It's not packed like call of duty and stuff like that no but this game is five bucks man if you got a playstation 3 and you like total war and and you know objectives and you know what i mean and a war like this and you know i mean it's really hard to put in words but if you like this type of shit man five dollars dog all you gotta do is go to gamestop and pick this up it's an online only game and watch me fuck up this this uh apc with these rockets here he was trying to shoot me in this corner right here but your boy's too good with the rocket launcher. I've already blown that up now. And um, it's a great game for five bucks, man. And they were actually making Mag 2. This game wasn't perfect. It had problems. It had a lot of server problems with lag and latency. And the problem was they were trying to put too many people from all over the world on to certain servers. So you were playing against people from Japan and all of that. And, you know, you 300 plus, 500 plus ping. That's not going to work. I mean... So you had people in game that were running around laggy that, you ne that could never be killed. You were being shot behind walls. You know what I mean? Even though it's a dedicated server, if the if the latency is really high, it'll act like Call of Duty. You know, you'll get the bullshit stuff. But, um, so that was the biggest problem. And they um, they closed down Zipper. Um, you know, Zipper interacted with the devs. And uh, I found out the other day they were actually starting to make Mag 2 when they when it got closed down um you see me fuck up another jeep there but uh what they ended up doing is uh sony gave the rights to i don't know what the name of the studio is but they're in santa monica i talked to a guy that uh has a brother that's dealing that's dealing with that and uh there's it, it's possible we're going to get a mag too i don't know exactly who's going to be made by but it'll be through sony and whatnot and this shit will be a hit if they come out right now, everybody's sick of Call of Duty and all the, you know, all that kind of bullshit and whatnot. If they come out with a Mag 2 with a little bit better graphics, but the same type of gameplay like this on PlayStation, and that shit is exclusive to PlayStation, you know what I mean? Um, and it don't even have to be exclusive. I mean, I would love it if Xbox and PC got it. You know what I mean? That would be great. And when they first started making this game, they were initially making a PC version too, but they canceled it. I don't know why, but they did. This game would have been a big hit on PC. But if they come out with this game, man, it'll be a hit. People are ripe for a fucking good first-person shooter. And it's not, you know, people say, well, there's Battlefield. But a lot, some people, including me, do not like the Battlefield engine. You know, I feel like the engine is holding that game back yeah, it looks cute and all that but there's a lot of problems with the battlefield engine inherently and plus it's so fucking hackable like on pc oh my god that fucking battlefield was hacked to death i mean most of the players at the, at one time playing it were fucking hacking but that's a whole nother video a whole nother story but uh man i know this is long long commentary or whatnot but you know this one of them days i guess i'm pumped up or whatnot man but this game is great, man. It's not perfect. It's got problems like anything else. But for five bucks, you cannot beat this, man, if you got a PlayStation. And uh, it, it really is. It's a, it's, it's a lot of fun, man. There's three different game modes. If you don't like necessarily the, you know, super, um, or, you know, organized one, there's kind of one that's more like Team Deathmatch. There's a couple objective spots that you need to blow up, but they're pretty much like in a row. And the game is really played more like Team Deathmatch. That one actually is the most popular right now. Most people playing it and whatnot. So you can always find a game to get your gun skill on. I happen to like Acquisition because it's not like that. This one requires teamwork and tactics and whatnot. But it's not as popular as, as the previous one I just mentioned. But for five bucks, man, you should be on this, man. If you like me and you're sick of the BS Call of Duty and there's really nothing else out there, first person that's holding you man 
for five bucks, man, you should go back to this and, and give it a run. I'm telling you, it's a learning curve. You're not just going to grab this and walk on and just start murking people. It, it doesn't happen. This game had a little bit of a learning curve, and that's why it wasn't as popular as it could have been. Because a lot of people just, you know, they want a game to be like Call of Duty. They can just jump on it and instantly, you know, dominate. And it's just, that's not going to happen. It's a little bit of a learning curve. But once you pick it up, pick up the mechanics, you know, I mean, the game is fun. The, the game is great, man. And just get a good leader, you know I mean? And if you become squad leader, make sure you talk to your guys. Make sure you give direction. You know, make sure you set fragos. If you don't set the frago, it's not going to do it for you. You know what I mean? You'll get a lot of guys pissed off at you in, inside of your uh, squad. And they'll, a lot of times they try to boot you out or not. But uh, this game is fun, man. I, I stream this game, you know, once a week or so over on Twitch. And I still have a lot of fun to it. You know, some days it's more laggy than others. It all depends. It's hit or miss with that. But overall, man, for five fucking dollars, you can't beat this shit. You really can't. And uh, so I, I guess I talked enough, man. I don't want to bore y'all to death with my with my voice, even though my voice is the shit. Nah, just joking. But uh, so there's only like three minutes, I think, left in the game. I think we end up winning this um, before the time expires. Um, I think. I can't remember. Um, but uh, I'll let the rest of the video just, just ride out. No music, nothing like that. You can just hear the sounds and and go for it you see me here i'm trying to take out the gun on top of the bunker because they repaired this bunker we, we blew them all up at first and they repaired it and uh right here i see a bunch of my guys down so i'm gonna try to go pick up a guy and then i get shot uh in the back trying to uh, revive a guy but it's important man to revive teamwork teammates and and give them health and whatnot but uh and to see and we actually blew up that bunker it had been fraggled i didn't frago it but another squad leader did and his guys must have followed through and uh, we actually ended up blowing that up so you know you know we end up winning this game we're going to forward forward respawn here because uh the choppers are up again and you see the choppers coming in and you can you can spawn off of this point and uh you know you're behind the front lines and whatnot and that's why it's important to keep that aa down because without that aa you'll be spawning all the way back at the beginning of the game like where you first start so you got to do all that running or whatnot and right then i jumped out of the chopper on the platform and somebody threw a random fucking grenade and got me that's what happened there and that, that shit just happens man but uh it's a great game man it's a lot of fun i hope they come out with a uh, mag too i really do this shit could be a real hit man any effect man i hope you enjoyed the video i know it was a long one but i wanted to give you some, you know some some good good commentary so you know what's going on in, in this game and uh other than that man i'll be bringing you more soon i'll holler peace Can't wait till the next one.